Hi everyone, this is Kingdom Architecture. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple graphic override and also how to create a custom schedule for this timber structure. So I already created some uh, layer combinations. This one is the load bearing structure, which shows basically uh, all the columns, individual columns and uh, slabs, everything, basically the, the core of the building of this um, CLT timber building. So this is our full model and how to create graphic override, go to documents overrides and first of all we have to create override combinations so these are the presets these are the defaults and we have to create a new let's name it um, load bearing timber columns so this is our new combinations and after this we have to create new rules for this combination. So now we have this new uh, override and let's create new. So add, add a new rule, create a new rule. Let's name it because we're going to create two type of rules for this combination in order to be um, visible structural timber columns so this is our first rule and after we need to adjust our rules you can do it down edit rules option or up this button edit rule we have to cre uh, create criteria first so let's choose columns because we need to uh, show all the columns add add material so we want the the timber columns to be visible so surface and materials let's choose building material timber add this to this criteria and of course we have to uh, change the material this is now it's brick let's change to timber structural because our goal now to uh, make all the load bearing columns visible and of course we have to set up the layer as well because all the elements are in different layers so model view layer let's choose the layer one add to the criteria and change because now it's archicad layer change to structural bearing it's down here so add this to our criteria list so now it's done so we have column we have building material timber and we have our layer which is structural bearing after let's change chain uh, let's choose a nice color red color Press OK. So the first um, rule is done, but we need another rule because we need another color as well. Add new rule. And for example, the name can be other elements or other structures. So all the all the other elements, which is not timber structure or column should be other color, obviously. So I think it's the best best option to to use glass because it's transparent so it's already set up glass but if you want you can change other colors as well it's up to you press ok and now our combination our graphic override combination has two rules now it it is done for um, for our purpose press ok and uh, on the button menu you can change the uh, overrides as well so now we have uh, different layer combinations um, so i think the best option to choose another 
layer combination because now we have full model visible everything balconies doors windows everything so now we have full model but change to structural load bearing and voila now we can see all our structural bearing columns throughout this CLT building and if you want if you want to narrow this down choose find and select and we need to set up of course criteria so columns mm, layer can be structural bearing if you want you can set up other other combinations as well so press this button and now uh, all the columns are selected and if you press F5 it's gonna be visible our um, structural bearing load bearing columns so for demonstration purposes I think this is the best option to use graphic overrides so we we can go back to the structural bearing load bearing columns nice so our next step is gonna be to calculate um, timber volume timber net volume with the schedule option we can do this uh, down here we have schedules we have listings so we can create a new uh, schedule we have also uh, default ones but we need uh, from scratch a new schedule press the first option and of course we have to name it let's call it for example timber column volume and uh, cubic meters slash cubic meters so this is our name <clears throat> down here you can choose component surfaces so we created our uh, brand new scheme and of course we need to set up criteria and other fields for calculation add criteria so we need to narrow down what we have to uh, calculate so the element type should be of course uh, columns so the element type is the type is column yes and uh, we need to add another criteria which should be the material So it's in the surface and materials option and choose not material ID choose building material now it's brick change to timber structural and we have to we have to narrow down with um, with the layer so add the third criteria which is in the I think in a model view yes up there uh, no, 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 yes uh, model view and layer so the default is Archicad layer we have to change it to structural bearing I think yes this is the correct name structural bearing layer so now we have these three criteria and also we have to calculate the volume so we need to add uh, a couple of fields add fields we need to search for in this general uh, uh, section the first section is the general and we need to choose the net volume so everything so these names of course it's in alphabetical order so we need to go down there is our net volume 
let's add to our field and uh, we need the name as well so I think the best option to give um, Archicad classification beams, columns, walls so these are classification names Archicad classification add this to our field and let's add how many columns uh, we are calculating so the number of the individual columns so we need to add quantity as well to our list let's search the quantity option here it is quantity add to our field it's done so now all the criteria are set and all the fields are set so we need to press ok and our new schedule is created from scratch we need to um, find where it is so the default ones wall schedule everything and down on, and the, at the bottom we have timber column volume cubic meters so double click of course we need to adjust this because now it looks so messy we need to make wider the columns everything so we can choose these two options tick the first one merge uniform items and show headline as well let's make it bigger so our custom schedule it's ready we have the net volume 845 cubic meters we have the classification called column and the quantity 88 individual columns are calculated with this net volume um, if we want to uh, make it visible in the 3d view press this button and uh, uh, all the columns are selected and if we want to uh, make it visible press f5 and here it is thank you so much if you like my content don't hesitate to like comment share or subscribe to my channel bye bye